Welcome to the Secret Yarnery vlog, episode three, take two, because I didn't press play. Ah! I just like to start by thanking everybody who's watching. I'd like to thank the people who have come back and are still watching. I would like to thank people who are just stopping in this for, for the first time. I think it's great and thanks for everyone who has taken the time to introduce themselves in the comments below or by email or both. I think that's fantastic. I've met somebody who's born in Saskatchewan and migrated like pretty much the exact same path and same years of school than I did. Who would know that? From YouTube. I mean, that's crazy. Um, so I really appreciate all that. I appreciate knowing who you are. I appreciate knowing what you want to see. I appreciate you watching, period. Um, so thank you very much for that. Let me start by introducing myself for anybody who's new. My name is Krista. I live in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm from Canada, born in Saskatchewan, went to uh, grade four to grade seven elementary in Alberta and then Vancouver for high school. So slowly migrated and then when I was like 30, went traveling to Africa, met my husband, married, kids, orphanage, full on, uh, love Kenya. Kenya's awesome. So, and it's even better now we have yarn. We used to not have yarn. It was pretty bad selection if you ask anybody who's here. So now, there is, it's great. Love Kenya. Anyway, um, my week was great. Birthday party was great. Minions, bouncy castle, two minions, plus punching bags inside, a wheel for them to go through, a slide that had a bouncy castle at the end of it so they didn't even land on the grass and hurt themselves. Um, that was great. Really good. Delicious uh, cupcakes from the Wicked Whisk in Nairobi. They were really, really delicious, as usual. I mean, you wouldn't expect no less, but really good. Uh, so that's all behind me. So... In my last vlog, our last vlog together, I made a silly remark about wanting to calm down and not start so many whips, which honestly was my intention. And sounds great, and I really wish that was my life. However, the next morning, so less than, like about 22 hours later, I got an email with an invitation to go to this, uh, like rent a tent space at a big outdoor fair in Nairobi. November 11th and 12th, BizBaz, for everybody who knows Nairobi. Anyway, I said yes. I haven't heard back, which is normal here. I mean, you know how, well, you don't know. Anyway, here, you don't even have to get back to people. Like, there's zero customer service. There's zero keeping of time. There's zero, I won't say zero. That's rude. Five or ten percent. But the general rule of thumb is, doesn't matter. So, anyway, I have applied for a tent at BizBuzz. Um, because technically, obviously, I am starting that initiative to train unemployed single mothers with crochets. Um, I've kind of figured out a little bit. I'll teach them how to, I'll give them the yarn and the hooks and the patterns and all that train them how to do a certain project and then buy their completed pieces off of them and then resell them. So they get money straight off and hopefully I can sell their stuff and get them money back for the yarn and everything else later. Which I think is good so it's like you know immediate gratification for them and inventory for me which is good because I don't have time to crochet for other people. I appreciate people that do. I mean I think that's fantastic but that's not me in my life right now. So I have that going on. I have trained my first lady Wednesday, so it was yesterday. Uh, so she is now making Christmas ornaments. But they're even better than Christmas, Christmas ornaments because they can also be, well, let me show you. Oh, I learned this off YouTube. There's a little tutorial, accordion ornament something. I'll put the link in the description box below, but it's pretty much to make these sweet little Christmas baubles. What I like about them is it's solid crochet, 
So you don't need to put the glass ball inside or the plastic ball inside or a styrofoam ball or anything that you can't get in Kenya. We have yarn and it's totally made out of yarn and it's firm. I mean, you can squish it, but it goes back into its shape, which is really cool. So then I got thinking these would be really good for like playing catch in the house. My husband plays cricket and which if anybody doesn't know, those are solid hickory wooden balls with leather wrapping getting tossed around your house. It makes baseballs look like Nerf. I mean, it's insane. Like they break bones when they hit you, like it's not on. It's like my, pe uh, anyway, don't start me on cricket. However, I thought these for inside the house would be a great thing. So, but I don't need that hanging thing at the top. So then I made a bunch like, without the hanging thing. Look, I just finished them off. So that's with a six millimeter hook and then a five millimeter hook and a four millimeter hook. And I really like them because you can also hang them super easy just by putting a loop through that she through that top or center seam, I suppose it is. So I did that on this one just to see how they are and I think they're so pretty because you can see that center star. So that's cute. I made some also with that glitter yarn. This kind. I think it's the same color even. Um, which I really like. I don't know if you can see it. hope so. So I made those, and I have my lady, my first lady, uh, making these. So she took nine balls of yarn, and she says she's going to bring all these back to me finished in a week. So good luck to her. She can do it. She's totally good at crochet. She used to work at my orphanage as a house mother. So I've known her for several years. She's a really nice lady. I've also started making one of these with t-shirt yarn. <laughs> that's bigger, right? But I thought it'd be really good for like babies and toddlers. You know how they get their hands like just in something and then they kind of let it go. So I thought that will be a really nice big one. But not done that, just started it. So that is our, we're calling it accordion holiday balls. That's one new project, completely new since we last spoke. Don't even joke. Um, next, oh yes, also for this biz bats, because now I need something to sell. Because I, you know, I have to actually sell something. So um, you know those stools that we were that we made. Ching. I found. I went around after dropping my kids at school to the same grocery store and I managed to find one same stool uh, and then I went even farther into another town and then went into the basement of a grocery store and found a plethora like so many well not that many nine so I have nine more of these waiting for the tops um, so we can sell the actual the entire stool and um, I ordered a dozen more which I can go pick up anytime next week. So hopefully that'll be finished. Mandalas, thing to do. Um, oh yes, and move this out of the way now. All the balls. Oh, my hook. Uh, Granny Square project bag. This is what I decided on. So I've done two squares so far. Yes, class is on Saturday. I'm so far behind. I have to do three more squares and join it. That's easy. And come up with that handle. I know the kind of handle I want. I want to make like the, you know, you make like the round part to stitch on and then the tube handle to go to the other side. So like in your head, it should be those leather handles, but we'll make it out of crochet. And if they work out really good, um, there is a leather guy, a leather workshop, 
um, down the road about 20 minutes who makes all sorts of great stuff for all these safari companies and you know people that like super posh brand names that well like not brand names luxury names and he does all the work for them so we could also get leather ones stitched on by him when I have something to stitch on to which is not today so that is good the colors I picked should have balanced that okay are from this lovely really soft alpaca blend so it's alpaca and wool and all sorts of goodness but I really love the colorway so I only have two balls left the rest of it has sold and what can you make with two balls nothing scary so I thought I could use it as maybe just the center of these squares and maybe for the joining or at least for the handle because the handle would be super nice and soft. <sighs> now I don't know what I'm going to do. I love it so much and it's really chunky. So because this is chunky, I did two plies of these ones. So I did two strands together to make this would so be the same chunky as this. So this is great. I mean, it almost stands up on its own. It'll be a really good tote. But I don't know if I'm using this or I'm just going to keep going with these regular ones. You can leave your opinion in the comment box below. I mean, I love both. I love this and I love this. Do they go together? Probably. Should they go together? That's the question. So I have two balls of this and I don't know if I should, what I should do. So you leave your comment below your opinion. Happy to take a poll. If people say use it, I'll use it. If people say don't, I won't. Ha! <laughs> Delegate the choice. I love that about YouTube. Thank you. Okay, so that's that. I have all these colors in there. It's a big mess. Good. What else can I show you that I have nearby? Oh, I can show you this. It's crazy I have so much crochet. It's literally within arm's reach. Like, I don't even... I tried with this. The rest of it, no, it's just sitting there. So this is my tulip stitch pillow. I picked the color so they would show up well on camera. So that's why they are these colors. And I do still like it. It's not that I don't. However, if you don't have a crochet studio or a little baby girl, I might pick different colors. But we did a tutorial on the stitch, on how to make a straight edge on that side, and also how to do like a simple scallop border, and make the pillow back. So there's a whole series, there's a playlist. Uh, I think there's three videos of how to do this, but I do really like it in my crochet guest house studio. Um, what else? project bags. Oh, I'm also making market bags. So there's another group of ladies that crochet single mothers who want work unemployed. So I'm thinking of having them make market bags. So in my head, it's a totally, uh, anyway, in my head, do the chain, work back around like an oval around the chain, single crochets, maybe half doubles if we're lazy, and then do a mesh stitch all the way around, and then handles just so it rolls up small and make a bunch of them. Planning that, haven't done it yet, haven't made a prototype, really have to finish this before class on Saturday, handles included talking to you instead of doing this. I've already made one today, one whole square, so I'm feeling quite good about that. And yesterday I was out training that other lady, so I feel good about that also. However, go to get on this after I finish talking to you. Priorities. So that is me this week, running around like a slight chicken. Not running around, spinning around in my head like a, like a chicken. But a lot of things on the go. Also thinking of doing cat toys. Not my idea, someone else's idea, but I'm like, that's actually a good idea. Because uh, in my head, of course, everybody has kids and everybody, you know, needs 
balls to throw around their house that don't break their TV. However, other people don't have kids and have cats and things that they love equally, I'm sure. So thinking of doing these or something similar with a little catnip pouch on the inside. Not my idea. Also think of some sort of stick to hang them, you know, so you can, your cat, you know what I mean, you can really get your cat exercising or freaking out without you moving. Not sure what kind of stick I can use. Can get broomsticks, thinking about something smaller that I could get here. Really just wanted to get something off Amazon, a bunch of like balloon sticks or something, and I'm like, no, that's not, you have to like, you know, source locally. So doing that. Um, although not sourcing locally, ordered a bunch of super cute stuff for the environment of our tent at Bizbaz. Fabulous big pom-poms for the ceiling, uh, paper lanterns with lights. Really great. Oh, I also need to make a bunch of pillows. For We're having some day beds. Well, one at least, probably two. Or one at least, maybe two. So I want pillows all along and then maybe pillow covers we can sell I don't know if you have any ideas of things that would sell at these craft fairs let me know <sighs> um, it's in six weeks yeah crazy right so anyway let me know if you have any great ideas about that or what sells at craft fairs in your area we're thinking of hair ties maybe some of those headbands I don't know it's hot here so by the time the craft fair starts it's gonna be edging into summer so that could have something to do with it but anything I could teach these ladies to do that we could sell in general I think that would be very helpful and any other display ideas you have how to make your tent super cute how to get people to come into your tent that's super cute um, that would be really cool I like super cute and generally, I'm pretty good at throwing out super cute. Like, we can pretty much do that. But whatever you have, any great ideas, coffee cup cozies or whatever you have. Like, anything, any idea you have, everything's welcome. Feel free to put it in the comments below. Introduce yourself if you haven't already. Say hi again if you have introduced yourself already. And if you're the guy giving me a thumbs down or the lady giving me a thumbs down, also introduce yourself. also want to know who you are. Why not, right? So, um, that side is messy again. I sold some yarn this week. So, you know, you're arranging colors for people. You're like, oh, this color and that color and blah, blah, blah. So you do it all super quick and then you leave and then you come back and it's like, what happened over there? <sighs> I'll show you after the end of the video. I need to confess. So anyway, that's what's happening with me. Oh, temperature blanket. One of my friends is also doing it well. She's over the temperature blanket. Let me confess mine. Ready for it. It's cute. I'm not saying it's not cute. So this is January 1st, beginning of the year, and every row, every first of the month is this multicolored red heart gumdrop along, and the popcorn stitches are important days or birthdays, and blah blah blah, and to sew in. This is June, this is June 2nd, birthday. So this is, I'm like, what, June 7th? And it's not June 7th. It is September. So I'm behind. In my defense, we have one lady uh, who takes our temperatures down. Bless her heart. Love her. However, how I get off of the guilt of not doing it, I just refuse to take the temperatures from her. So she's like, hey, you want the temperatures? And I'm like, no. Not this week. So I was going to do it this week coming up, or maybe it was this week we're in now, because the kids are in school, they're kind of settled. It's not so much drama. They don't need me there all the time. But then I decided to do biz baths, 
and trained a, a bunch of ladies how to crochet. So anyway, my poor temperature blanket. Some people, one of our students has just done six months. So basically this is how big her temperature blanket is. And she says, uh, it's big enough. That's my temperature blanket. It's half a year. And I was like, great idea. Me too. Happy with it. Six months. Good. Finished. Moving on. And then another student was like, no, you'll feel bad. You have to finish it. I'm going to finish it. You have to finish it. Blah, blah, blah. And I mean, you're right. Who needs six months of a temperature blanket? And it doesn't take that long. Like if you're actually sitting down, it takes a couple days of crochet time to get caught up. <sighs> I'm going to give it a week to get caught up. So that's my temperature blanket. And it's getting colder, so I mean, I'm excited about the new colors, but unfortunately, I do not have the new temperatures, so couldn't do it if I wanted to. Need to stay doing my other things. So last thing I will show you, I suppose, is my first binder cover. This is easy crocodile stitch. I didn't do it the hard way. So instead of like going backwards and doing that crazy, I just went the front way. You know, you put your stitches down and then a chain and then you stitch it back up and then just block it afterwards. Spray it with water fluff it down, let it dry, be done with it. So that is, and then I made the inside case or inside one, just single crochets. We had a single crochet the whole way. Single crochet the whole way on this one. I cheated on my second one and did single crochet, half double, single crochet, half double, so that it would go a bit faster because I was late and I needed it the next morning. So that's super cute. We'll do a tor tutorial on that one day. It's a good way to practice a new stitch. You know, you're like, oh, it's a nice stitch, but I don't, I don't need it anywhere in the house. But a little binder cover is, or a book cover is a cute way of just practicing a stitch and then you've done the stitch. Here it is. So that's a cool thing. A lot of you are doing my slippers. So that's awesome. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, if you have any questions about it, um, just ask. I know the last bit um, can be a bit confusing for some people. A couple of you got stuck on it. So when the slipper gets to your heel part, you add, you add a stitch on each round for the last three rounds, bottom line, just so that the height comes up to like hold your heel, like just give like a little cup. So that's the trick to it. Maybe my English wasn't so good. Probably. Anyway, um, that's it. That's my news. Bunch of projects. Um, so any ad any ideas you have for a fair, putting up a tent, or decorating a tent, not putting it up, but decorating a tent, things for sale, and things, easy things that I could be teaching these nice ladies to make for us would be great. I'm thinking they could do granny square bags. They can probably manage that. Um, the ornaments, the, the shopping bags. So let me know if you have any ideas. Because cat toys. I have been up at night. I'm also thinking for my cat toys doing like a squid thing. You know those curly cues they have for newborns? Something similar to that. Like a crochet little ball. Even like so. With curly Q crochet tentacles hanging down on a, on a chain, on a crocheted chain, on a stick of some sort. Something like that. You know, something cats would like. Maybe some googly eyes. Maybe if, I don't know. But whatever, I don't have cats. I have too many dogs. So if you have any cat toy ideas, all about it, leave it in the comments below. Oh my gosh, I feel this is my longest blog ever. Vlog. Not blog. Um, I'm surprised my battery hasn't run out. This camera is old. It's not that old. Yeah, it is. So it's six years old. Um, anyway, the battery just doesn't last anymore. So I'm like, you know, it's probably cheaper here to just buy another camera. And then I went on Amazon. You can get two replacement batteries for $9.
It's a Nikon P510, I want to say. Anyway, I'm going to say that's what it is, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, $9 for two batteries and, a ch and another charger and a car. Like, what? That's so crazy. So batteries are coming. They're not here yet. So keeping things short until then because it would really upset me if I had to, like, figure out what I already rambled about to keep on rambling. Right? So anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Please leave your comments in the comment box below. Say hi. Drop a line. And if uh, you have any suggestions, I'm so looking forward to hearing them. It'll help me sleep at night. So thank you for that. And have a really great day and a great weekend. And we'll chat soon. <laughs> Stay hooked. I only have two balls of this. So if I don't use it now, what am I going to use it for? And who's going to buy just two balls? What can you do with two balls? I mean, not like that. However... <laughs>